On Wednesday morning, Katie Price braved the rain as she walked out of her cheap hotel in Manchester, which cost her £60 a night. Later that day, she had a live podcast show where she was reported to have made fun of her ex-husband Peter Andre, alongside her 33-year-old sister Sophie. The 46-year-old former beauty model was seen leaving the Premier Inn wearing a long, black jacket with padding. Pushing her bulky suitcase along the pavement, Katie wore the jacket over a relaxed black tracksuit and slung a Louis Vuitton bag over her shoulder. The IMA celeb star had to use a plastic bag as a shield, while the sisters, who co-host the podcast, battled the intense downpour. The encounter takes place in the midst of Katie's current £3.2 million bankruptcy lawsuit. According to reports, detectives have been assigned to her case to look for any unreported sources of income. There is going to be no stone left unturned, as they try to ascertain what is going on with her finances, a source told The Mirror in September. For response, Mailinline got in touch with Katie's agents. When the television celebrity eventually faces the music in February 2024, she will be expected to reveal exactly how much money she makes. The personality has been on two holidays in the past four months, including a trip to Thailand in March. In person, Katie has not been grilled since November 2021. The public's disruptive behavior at last month's online hearing resulted in the bankruptcy case being rescheduled for the next year. In an online hearing, the TV star reportedly stated that she was scared and anxious because screenshots of the hearing had been shared on Tattle sites, which seemed to be a reference to gossip websites. Any kind of camera is not allowed during court proceedings, and taking screenshots of online sessions is prohibited. Anyone caught doing so faces jail time. Due to losing control of the hearing, His Honor Judge Paul Greenwood made everyone get off the phone and rescheduled for the next year. I'm not convinced I can keep control over the hearing or the distribution of the hearing, he stated. I'm going to have this little hearing in private and exclude everyone who isn't a party. I can't guarantee that the broadcast won't have an impact on the hearings in Terry. I'm going to direct it, and it will take place in private in order for it to be conducted. All non-party attendees are required to vacate the meeting. While battling for her money, Katie is trying to keep her renowned mucky mansion intact. The former glamour model reportedly moved out of her 19-room mucky mansion after spending two years refurbishing it and even filming the process for a Channel 4 show. When trolls questioned Katie about her bankruptcy in July, she responded by claiming that she still owns her £2.5 million house and adding, Never knock someone who is bankrupt. We can all go there, but it doesn't mean that it is all bad. After neglecting to pay a £500,000 debt, the celebrity faced a repossession notice on the Mucky Mansion in 2021. For the fifth time, Katie evaded a court appearance in April where she was supposed to respond to inquiries over her most current debt load of £3.2 million. In March of this year, Katie talked about her bankruptcy and how she has been having mental health issues lately on Jeremy Vine's Channel 5 show. People file for bankruptcy for a variety of reasons, so you shouldn't feel ashamed if you have one, she said. The last three years have been incredibly difficult for me in terms of my mental health and other issues. And after that, you may receive bills and decide to put everything on hold because you are unable to handle anything. In October 2020, Katie expressed her regret to the court during an earlier hearing, saying, I just haven't been able to deal with these issues or in the right mental state to understand everything that has been going on. She added that although authorities and creditors might believe her involvement with them is too little, too late, progress is real, and she had given them financial details. Katie declared in August that she would go to prison to be done with it all because she was fed up with being threatened with legal action. On her Rule Breakers podcast, TV personality Michelle Visage interviewed Katie about her bankruptcy. Katie stated she had been to court more times than I've had hot dinners recently and that she would genuinely not care if she went to jail. Katie revealed in March that she has been having mental health issues recently and that people shouldn't be ashamed of being declared bankrupt on Jeremy Vine's Channel 5 show. I just haven't been able to deal with these concerns or in the correct mental condition to understand everything that has been going on.
Katie apologized to the court during a hearing in October 2020. She claimed that although authorities and creditors might believe that her involvement with them is too little, too late, progress is real, and she had given them financial information. Katie allegedly made fun of her ex-partner Peter Andre as she was on stage for her podcast tour, The Katie Price Show. As she talked about marriages and her previous husbands, the audience reportedly jeered at her ex bap brother Peter. From 2005 to 2009, she was wed to the musician and TV personality, 50, with whom she had two children, Princess, 16, and Junior, 18. According to The Sun, when she referred to the Aussie from Wembley rather than giving his name, people in attendance cheered. They say that when the jeers erupted across the theater, she sought to cover her face with her microphone and exited the room grinning. The celebrity continued by enumerating the various rituals she shared with each partner before calling her third spouse, Kieran Haler, a cheatman. She also told Peter about her wedding, revealing that her £45,000 expensive gown had been abandoned to mold following the spit. The audience heard Katie say, it's been half eaten by rats. She continued by saying it was left in a bag in a container, but added that she had attempted to resurrect and repurpose it. I got it out, the top part has kind of lost its crystals, she continued. The skirt is still amazing, even though I tried to fit it around me because I've had a few boob jobs since then. Although I felt it may be a little inappropriate, I really wanted to wear it out tonight. She stated in another segment of the show that she was now leery of attending weddings for her well-known friends since they might only be exploiting her as a publicity stunt. I've been a bridesmaid a lot, but it got to the point where we thought we should rent Katie Price so we could get on the cover of a magazine, she added. If people, like some famous people, had me as a bridesmaid, they would end up on the cover and get more money, so I stopped doing it. Regarding phony pals in general, Katie continued. I'm tired of being used. I've been used so many times. I have so many individuals taken out of my life that the only ones left are those that are close to me, allowing me to consider both their and my mutual benefits, 